So do you wanna make sure that your forms expire at a given date or time for a Grammarly form? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you do it. Let's jump on in. So here we have a registration form. With this registration form, I'm using Gravity Forms and I want that form to disable itself when the entries are closed. So let's go into the WordPress admin and I've gone into the forms area and here we have the Parks Golf Open Registration Form. On that, I go to Settings and click on Form Settings. Inside Form Settings, I'm now going to scroll down till I get to the area called Restrictions. Within Restrictions, I can schedule a form. And here, I have a start date and an end date. So entries opened on the 1st of July, 2023, and they're gonna close on the 8th of September, 2023 at 11 p.m. When that um, date ticks over and that time ticks over, it's going to show the form expired message. And here I put some HTML in there. So you can put bare HTML inside the message to be able to give you some styling. And here I say form expired, entries are closed for 2023. Now, to show you this particular entry, we're going to change that date and we're gonna put it in the past. And then we're gonna say, save settings. So I'll click that save settings button. Okay, so we've set that date to be in the past. Now when I refresh where our form was before, it now says form expired, entries are closed for 2023. If I then go back here, and we'll go back and change that date to the original that we had, which was the 8th at 11 p.m. And then I say save settings like so. So I've clicked that button. It's now updated and the settings are updated. Go to the front end, refresh. And the form has now come back. Well, I hope you liked that quick tip for Gravity Forms. If you want more tips on Gravity Forms, why don't you like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. Let me know what you want to see and what you want to learn about Gravity Forms. And I'll see you in the next video.